There's no way that this is gonna work. It's gonna destroy everything. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh no, half our pistons are gone. Hello folks. Today we're gonna be making a more efficient piston engine. So in prior videos, I had made stuff like this. So this is about the most complex engine I've made. It's in inline two. It, it's a uh, firing sequence. Well, it doesn't really have a firing sequence, but basically they're offset 180 degrees. So when this one's going up, this one's going down. And that works, it gives you more torque than if you were to have a single cylinder or single piston, but it still is able to stall and it's not balanced. As you can see, if you were to spin this crank very fast, you'd have much more weight on this outside than this side. So it would just be really imbalanced. That's not a problem because you can't spin things fast in symbol planes, but I downloaded a mod that allows you to potentially do that. <clears throat> so we're gonna be playing playing around with that a little bit today as well. So I'm thinking a Boxster engine or a flat engine is gonna have a real good chance. You can set the pistons in a certain orientation that'll balance them much better, I think, in that flat orientation. And yes, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be making it out of blocks again. Because they're just really easy to visualize. They have nice flat surfaces to work with. And of course, they're incredibly simple. This rotor here is basically going to be our main bearing for our crankshaft. Nice things, they don't wear out like in real life. Yeah, our crankshaft works. The pistons leave some to be desired though. No idea what happened. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, should have seen that coming. Of course, you need two separate joints. You need two separate joints because these cannot be just hard mounted to there. Dang it. Okay, well. Yeah, 
Yes, that's what we want right there. should have solved that problem. We have each piston on its individual, basically wrist pin, or wait, no, that wouldn't be the wrist pin, that would be the connecting rod bearing. And up here, this would be the wrist pin, fulcrum, connecting rod. Well, it's, it's, it's different than a regular piston engine that I'm trying to compare it to, but... Well, the single cylinder part works. This is more promising. Things actually can move. Well, we clearly have some timing issues. <laughs> look at that! I mean, it's working. It's running engine at this point. That's what it's going to look like. Wow. Actually, you know what? If I put in slow-mo, you can see that things are... I don't think it, I don't think the arms are quite long enough. I think that's put the issue. So that's okay. I can adjust the the reach of the arms, the range to be just a little bit longer and see how that helps. I just remembered something. I forgot to turn on my audio. All right, well, here we go. We have a running flat four engine, Boxster four, in simple planes. This thing is awesome. And I'm sure it has a lot more torque than uh, an inline, because, well, it has more pistons. Also, this, this inner part of this crankshaft here is wobbling so much. It's not perfect, it's not, these things aren't firing perfectly, so it's a little bit uneven. You can tell by how the blade is jerking. We're now going to install or enable a little mod. So basically, this is called Limitless Spin. And as its name suggests, it allows you to spin things as fast as you want, uh, as relatively speaking. So we should be able to crank up the speed on these bad boys just a wee bit. and see if we can get this thing to turn a little bit harder. <laughs> well, I mean, it's working. So it's doing about three revolutions per second. So that's about 180 RPM. And as you can see, it is definitely jerking quite a bit. All right, well, I'm gonna do some more tuning work to get this thing running smoothly, because right now it's, it, especially at that higher speed, it just runs super rough. It still isn't perfect, but I turned the speed of these pistons up a lot now. So let's see how this does.
Oh boy. Making a lot of noise. Oh no. Our engine. What is even going on? <laughs> Look at this. We're spinning the table, the whole engine in the opposite direction as the propeller. Well, that did not go well. All right, now we have this. This is basically a jet, a turboprop almost, because it's using jet engines to spin a fan here. So this thing should get to some crazy high speeds. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, it's so powerful. <laughs> All right, well that works really well. I mean, I come piston engines can't work like this. It has no vibrations, just happily spins away. There's also no brakes, really. That's pretty cool. All right, so I went ahead and put this thing on an airplane to see how it works. So this is very similar to an airplane, the airplane that I made with the inline two cylinder, except this one is a flat four. All right, we're off to a good start. Now, since this is a single engine, it's gonna to torque a lot when we're accelerating. And yeah, it's flying great. It's quite nice. So what I did is I connected these, these three crankshaft pieces together, hard connected them together so there's not as much flex. And then I connected these directly to the flywheel and to the propeller shaft. So everything has less flex than before. So it doesn't vibrate as much. So now we might be able to turn up these, these pistons just a, just a wee bit and see what happens. Because last time we tried that, it didn't work out so well. But maybe it's better balanced now with a giant propeller on the front. I still don't think it's going to work, but we'll see. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, it's working. <laughs> Look at this thing. There's some strange noises. The engine's got a knock to it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. In real life, if you hear that noise in your engine, that's a bad sign. But so far, nothing's broken, so I think it's okay with this. We're going 130 something. This is great. Oh, the maneuverability is excellent. How much torque does it have? I'm going to fly into the ground and see if the propeller stops spinning. Because the other one would stop dead on the ground. Okay. <laughs> We're just flying up in the air. Something's on fire. But this thing does not want to stop. This is excellent. This is better than I could have hoped for. All right, well, let's turn these things up even more. If it worked at this speed, maybe it can handle even higher. Famous last words. There's no way that this is going to work. It's going to destroy everything. Oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, half our pistons are gone. It's still flying, though. Oh, did we lock it up? Yeah, we did. Did we over torque it? I think, I think so. Cause it looks like it's just oscillating right now, back and forth. So it looks like these parts are just hitting into the pistons. So what I can do to help mitigate that 
damage by colliding is turn off the disable aircraft collisions for these pistons. So then they won't they won't hit anything. They can't hit anything. They can still be connected to stuff, but they won't collide with stuff and damage themselves. Oh, beautiful. No knocking. So we could probably go faster now. Um, full prop pitch. Oh, and it's showing no signs of stalling due to overload. It is pulling just fine, and we're going 270-something miles an hour. <laughs> That's excellent. So, yeah, with, with neutral prop pitch, its max speed is 150. Max prop pitch, 270. So, and it takes no time to accelerate. This is amazing. I'm patenting this design right here. Okay, so that's a skill issue, not not the plane's fault. But this thing's amazing. So if you want this mod that allows you to spin things fast, I would highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you would like to. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time.